Hey guys, we are in the basement. Today we're gonna do part number one of the Atari Quantum Restore slash Scratch build. Yes, that's right. This is part number one of the Quantum build. And I know what you guys are saying right now. John, what are you doing? You have not finished the journey. How can you start another restore when you haven't finished the journey restore? I know, you know but you know what? Today, what we're gonna do, I'm going to my buddy Brian's house, okay? And Brian has a cabinet for me that we're gonna use for the quantum. And I figured, you know what, I probably should film this because this is essentially part one of the quantum. So just kind of consider this like a an early part one because really, part two of the quantum is gonna be a long ways away, guys. So if you're watching part one of the quantum, enjoy it, it's gonna be a great video. But just know that part two is gonna be probably a good six weeks away because I need to finish the journey first because after this video we are absolutely going back to journey we're gonna finish that restore so this is part one quantum part two will be a few weeks away but anyway we're gonna go to Brian's house because he has a cabinet for me that we're gonna use for my quantum build okay and if you guys don't know what quantum is is it is a very rare Atari vector game extremely rare very sought after. It is an awesome, cool color vector game. When I say vector, you know, Tempest right here. This is a color vector game. Uh, Star Wars color vector game. This is one of the one of the very, if not the most rare, Atari color vector games. And what has happened here in the last year is that guys have gotten together, like on Clov, and have reproduced pretty much all of the parts of for Quantum to basically enable us to make a scratch build. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this series, okay? Uh, someone reproduced the PCB, that's right, the entire PCB, the printed circuit board, the brains of the game have been reproduced. And I picked up one of those and I had it populated and the board is working. So I have a working quantum board. And Darren at Phoenix Arcade has reproduced all of the artwork. So I have all of that. I have the reproduction artwork for quantum. Takeman on Clove has reproduced all of the metal parts. That's right, all of the metal, the, the, the brackets that hold the marquee on, the speaker grills, all of that stuff. He's reproduced that stuff. I have all the metal parts. Uh, what else? Oh, the wiring harness. Joe Majera in Chicago, he reproduced the wiring harness for Quantum. I have that too. So I essentially have the entire game. I have the wiring harness, the board, the artwork, the metal. But what I don't have is, a, is, is the, is the, uh, the cabinet. I don't have a, the wooden cabinet. And my buddy Brian, uh, he's got a, an old Black Widow cabinet that was converted to a JAMA game. And we're gonna grab that today. And we're gonna use that for our quantum cabinet. And yes, I know, we're, we are gonna be kind of sacrificing a Black Widow cabinet, but you gotta understand, this Black Widow had died a long time ago, guys. I mean, this, this Black Widow was converted to a JAMA game. It was painted black. It hasn't been a Black Widow in probably 20 years. This game is dead, dead, dead. And so what we're gonna be essentially doing in this series is resurrecting an Atari cabinet, bringing it back from the, the depths of JAMA hell and restoring it to a Quantum. On your mark. Now the Black Widow cabinet is not exactly the same as Quantum, but it's very close. It's the same profile. Uh, Black Widow was a horizontal game. Now Quantum is a vertical game. So I had to get the wood pieces. I got those from DPT Wiz in Ohio. He actually sells the wood pieces to convert a Black Widow or a Gravatar into a Quantum cabinet. And really, it's not a lot of modification at all. So anyway, Enough of that. Why don't we just get in the car and let's take a ride to my buddy Brian's house. When, let's grab that Black Widow cabinet. And we're going to have a lot of fun today because Brian is a cool dude and a, an old time friend of mine. So let's get in the car and let's take a ride to Brian's arcade. <laughs>
morning. It is a beautiful New England morning here, and uh, I'm just happy to be out and about. So we're going to Brian's house, and Brian, you know, has been a friend of mine for a while. He's actually one of the first people I ever met in this hobby, and uh, Brian's got quite the collection of games. He's got a lot of stuff, so we're going to be checking that out today. And coming back with a cabinet for the Quantum... Is it a restore or is it a build? I guess the Quantum build, we'll call it. Um, because really, it's we're building the Quantum from scratch. But anyway, we need to get that cabinet. So let's keep going. We're almost at Brian's and uh, I can't wait to see him. So, all right guys, let's keep going. All right guys, we're here. Let's see if Brian's around. Housekeeping? Housekeeping! Hey, What's up, Bri? Hey, <laughs> so, Brian, this is your little game den. Yeah, the game den. The game den. The dungeon. <laughs> you playing Dracula? I am. Dude, you just like restored this, didn't you? Yeah, I, re yeah, I restored the. Uh, you know, you, took, the, you took the whole thing apart. Because well, last time I was here, you had like every piece off this game. Yeah, the whole, the whole play field was It looks out. freaking beautiful, dude. Thanks. And you put LEDs in it? I did. The whole thing everywhere? Yes. Yeah. Wow, man. So, what's new down here, Brian? So, you got Tron, you got Tron Legacy, which I am super jealous of. What's your favorite pin right here? My favorite pin is yeah. the Tron. Tron? Yeah, that's my favorite pen. Yeah. That's the, that'll be the last one to go, that's for sure. And what's going on down here, dude? You got like this... Sh you can't show those. I can't show those? <laughs> can I show these? You can show them. Yeah, <laughs> you got your logo coin door collection down here. And this is a Williams one? Dude, I've never seen a Williams logo co I, I have like a Williams sticker like on my Robotron and stuff. Yeah, they're pretty rare. I mean, that's the only one I've ever come across. And you, do you think they had those like on Robotron and Defender and all that? I think they did. Wow, dude, that is awesome. You got the cinematronics. That would be like on a Dragon's Lair and stuff, right? Yeah. What other games were, they, were, they, were those on? Just Dragon's uh, Lair? Star Castle? I don't oh, know. Oh, Star Castle, Maybe. okay. GDI Destron. What the hell is that? You know, the only game that I think that I know of that had that coin though would be Slither. Slither, okay. God, I don't I never even is I've that the, is, is that the company that made Slither? Yeah. Weird. And back here you got a Taito and a Sentry one. Yes. Uh, I've never come across a Taito one either. No, I never had a Taito one. I had a Taito sticker like on my Zookeeper. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And the Century, I've got those on my Gyrus and my uh, Track and Field. So you got the Black Knight, and this one was another one you kind of tore down and shopped. And everyone on my channel is mad at me because I sold my Black Knight. This gameplay is amazing. <laughs> I, I'm going to be keeping this. And that, for a that's while. actually my old backlash, too, isn't <laughs> yes, it? Yes, it is. Because I sold my Black Knight to Craney, yep. and then Craney took the back glass off and sold it to you, and he got a reproduction one. Yeah, he got one of the repros. Which was what, like three, four hundred bucks for those? Yeah, it was crazy money. It, no, my game's not, mine's a player's machine, and it wasn't worth it. It looks good, though. It wasn't worth the four hundred It looks back. fine, man. It's got some wear on the sword. They all do, though. But, yeah, this game has been, I mean, everything underneath. I kind of miss my Black videos. Knight now looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then Space Mission, this was not here last time I was here. No, I, this is a recent uh, Craigslist. Craigslist. Wow, dude, that back uh, glass looks awesome. She needs a little work. <clears throat> work. Is this like a John Trudeau game? I'm trying to think of the guy who designed this. You know, I, I think know. it is. I think people love this game, right? I, I've heard good things about Space Mission. It's fun. And there's like a two-player version too, right? Isn't there? Have you done any yes. research on this? Uh, Space Odyssey. Space, is that what it is? Okay. Wow, dude, that back glass is amazing. That's original? Yeah. Wow. Class. That looks good, dude. And then you got the uh, Major Habit conversion, the Tempest. Yeah, she, uh, the monitor took the crap about it did? an hour ago. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was working this last damn night. Damn 6100s. So, uh, she, she's fine, though. And you put the roller in. Actually, you you traded this away, and it came back. I did. Nicer, right? You you bought it you <laughs> back. Yeah, the guy that, uh, well, I bought the roller and never installed it. Yeah. Sold the game with the roller. And yeah. Then I bought it back with the roller. <laughs> and then, yeah. I, then I did the. And this is a different here, up. right? Is this? No, my, this is am I imagining thing? Isn't there two different like versions of the side art or something though? I don't know. Oh, I think there are, Brian. Some have that. So maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. My type, my type maybe I'm hallucinating. Um, actually, that's different. Look at how look how it goes to the edge. 
Yeah, you're right. It is different. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Never noticed. There you go. <laughs> Can I, can I peek back yeah, here? This is a, yeah, this is a Your like overflow future game room. Yeah. This, game, this is the room, unfinished basement. So you got a cubert down. Yeah, you just, by the way, Brian just like built this basement. So he's in the in the middle of, you know, kind of, you're going to finish this and stuff. That's the plan, this right? finished room, yeah. Yeah. In my final game room. You got a couple pins, a cubert. There's an asteroid hanging out here. Mm -hmm. Cheyenne, XD Cheyenne, dude. That is a cool game. That's a gun game. I really want one of these. These things are monstrous, though, man. It is monstrous. Look at the height on that. <laughs> I know. And that's a uh, that's the multi kit there. On the oh, box. you got the multi kit? Okay. You haven't installed it yet? No, I haven't. And then you have an Atari Star Wars. Star Wars, yes. Yeah, which Wars I'm Atari. getting rid of mine. Are you really? Yeah, I'm trading Jay for a 720, and I'm doing like a. I, I'm trading my. I already traded my multi Williams, and then my Star Wars for a 720, an R Type. And oh, a Robotron. Nice. Cool. And a Robotron. Yeah, I've seen the Robotron. Yeah. Nice. And dude, Kroll, man, that's kind of cool and rare. Kroll is. Horrible uh, game, though, Brian. I know, but I, <laughs> I love the movie so much. Look how cool this cabinet is, though. Yeah, you can't. You <laughs> With can't the inner art in here? With those eyes? Beautiful. They should have did that like on Qbert and Mad Planets. Yeah, and so it's cool. a twin stick shooter, right? Yeah. Just like Just Robotron. Like Robotron. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that movie was like, when I was a kid, did you like Kroll? I, it was, I did. I still love Kroll. I remember like Kroll and like Dune. Yeah. Didn't they come out around the same amount of time? Like you didn't like Dune? No, I wasn't a Dune fan. No. And then here's a space station. That's a cool pin too. Are you, you're tearing this one down? That one was a, uh, yeah, that one needs a lot more work than, uh, than I'm not sure if I can handle it all. So oh, really? It's kind of uh, put off to the side for a little while. It's a cool it pin. Needs, uh, needs some plateful. All right, man. So what are we doing? We're gonna go to your storage unit and look at that cabinet. Yeah, check out this game. What else? Did I miss something? Yeah, you missed something over here. Hey, what's that? Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> That's Omega Ray's cockpit, dude. She's all complete. And it's actually, complete it's now. Working. Yeah, boards are working, monitors are working. She just needs to be put back together. Nice, dude. And that, you got that from Richie, right? Yeah, Richie Knuckles. Yeah, she drove it up and dropped it off on me. Did Did Richie have two of them, or? Yeah, he had two of them. Because I I played uh, the one at his at his old arcade. Yeah. That, that was the one he kept, right? Right, he kept that one, gave me this one. Gotcha. Dude, that's gonna be sweet. I mean, Omega Race is an okay game, but in a cockpit, yeah, it's yeah, an amazing game. <laughs> you got some monitors, and oh, look at this thing, dude. Is this a gunfight or something? What is this? This is, a, yeah, this is a, a sit down player gunfight that uh, I actually have no interest in. Oh, really? So I'm hoping somebody one of these days. So if anyone watching this wants to buy it, Brian, is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's just not going to fit in my setup. Yeah. But it's too cool to, to, you know, to pass up. I had to grab it. It is cool. Look at these, like, real gun uh, stocks, whatever, handles. Are they, like, like from a real gun? Because they did that back then, right? Didn't they, like, take, like, old guns? Yeah, the old, yeah, <clears throat> games did. yeah they used old Remington rifles. Yeah, they went to, like, Remington and said, give us your, like, second on the stocks and stuff. Actually, in my storage room, I have one. We can check it out. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. So that's the plan. We're going to go to your storage unit and uh, grab the cabinet? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's, let's go, man. Let's get, let's get out of here. Uh. <laughs> Right here? Yeah. Alright, Brian, we're here. We're here. Let's do it. This place is crazy, man. Park right here? Yeah, park right in. Alright. Alright, Brian, where are we going? What are we doing here? Well, the unit's right over here. Yeah? Well, we'll just take a walk around. There's a bunch of other operators. Hey, there's a golden tee over there, dude. I don't know who left that out. Looks like there's two golden tees. It's like an arcade graveyard, you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? No, no, no. So these are, these are like all old shipping containers. Yeah, that's it. Dude, look at this. What is going on here, man? It's a Silver Strike. Monitor's gone. Are the monitors in these games? I don't know. I've even looked at them. It's all a build Seashells. Wow, dude. This no is monitor? crazy talk. These poor games. Dude, the computer's in there, man. Is it really? Yeah.
Dude, this is a bet. There's a bag's computer in the bottom of this cabinet, Brian. Is this? Maybe we should grab it. <laughs> should we? I don't know. I mean, is this? Did someone? Is this garbage? There's a computer in the bottom of this one too. Did you bring any tools? There's a Silver Strike computer down there, dude. No, I don't have any tools. I don't want to steal, dude. <laughs> They've been sitting here for a little while. Is it garbage or is it not? That dollar, that's like a 50 bucks, right? Yeah. That validator? Yeah. yeah. Should have brought my truck. Yeah. Yeah, there's a Silver Strike computer in here and then a, huh. So what do you want to do? I want to rate these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian, we're on film. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Make sweet love. <laughs> Well, let's go check out my unit, see what's left in there. It's been, uh, it was packed so much you couldn't even walk in there a couple months ago, but I've been uh, slowly emptying it. I'm on, uh, I'm trying to empty this out. I'm all done with storage unit fees. This is crazy, dude. So this guy like just has all these old shipping containers and just rents them out. That's good business. Yeah. $110 a month. Do you? It's pretty nice though. It's clean. It's dry. It's dry. Oh, dry. dude. I didn't know you had a versus slalom. When did you get that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no room for that. So Nintendo came out. This is a versus cabinet, which is the old Donkey Kong. And they came out with this kit that added these skis, and you, you stand on it, and uh, you, you, you play the ski game. It's not really a good game, though. I've got, do you like Versus Slalom? Nah. Yeah, it's I mean, not it, that it, good. It's fun like this for a novelty, but right. it, it, it won't, I don't think it has lasting power. No. In the game room. You got a red tent. That you're bringing back to your house, though, right? Yeah, that's gonna get cleaned up, and I'll keep that. You better keep that. Is this an extra Tron, or is this your Tron? This side, yeah, I got a couple trons. I got one of these days, so I'm gonna make it one good tron. Track and field. Was that your basement? Yeah, yeah, that was in the basement for a while. Winner. Look you at know, this like, paneling, dude. See, so you were telling me on the way down here, this is like a Midway Pong clone. Yeah, um, I don't it's pretty know much about it. It's got a black and white TV. This is it right here. It goes in. Get out of here. Yeah. Just a, like a TV with the wood, the, yeah. the whole console goes in there? Yeah, this is the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And uh, yeah, it's, just, it's, got a, it's got an original Atari Pong board and it just plays Pong. Wait, is it an Atari Pong board? I believe so. I don't have the board here. I don't okay. double check, but I was told that it was. Or a copy of it? They copied the... Uh, copy of it. Is this my cabinet? Yeah, this is it. Uh oh. A little, uh, partial fix there. Yeah. This is a, uh, what is it? Romstar Hyperdrive Sidearms. Side Let's take a look over here. Oh, dude, the haunted house, man. That thing is sick. Did you ever get that working? Yeah, it works great. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, was this always cracked? Yeah, it was always cracked. So, oh man. Yeah, I, I so this is class. this is an old EM shooter, and it's like probably the coolest one because the theme. The theme is amazing, and it's got like an eight-track tape player in it, doesn't it? Yep. And it plays what, like uh, like ghost sounds yeah, and stuff. Ghost theme song. It's got like a little. It's uh, got a black light. A little Frankenstein. That comes I don't know if you guys can see in there, but uh, it's really cool. And uh, it's an EM shooter. It's got like, there's a there's a plate in here, right? So that knows where the gun is. Is yes. that how it works? Yeah. Can we open it up? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> so you see that plate back there? When you move the gun, it kind of knows where it is, and that's how it knows if you hit it or not. It's pretty sweet, dude. Here's the cabinet we're getting. What else do you have here? Oh, Mario Brothers wide body. Jay's taking that, right? Yeah. Painted black. Bummer. I think, a, I think his brother's actually. Is his brother going to restore it? Yes. 
and then the Karate Champ. You're keeping that I'm one keeping though. This, this baby is gonna. I got new overlay, new artwork for it. So you you like this game? I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny. Games. There's a few of you guys, a few of us guys that love Karate Champ, and you're one of them. Yeah, I love Karate. I'm never gonna get rid of Karate Champ. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's like the first, like, uh, right, like head-to-head -head fighting game, right? One of them. Yeah, I think. Is so. it the first? It might be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is this predates Street Fighter and all that. Absolutely. And, and it's a narrow cabinet with two sets of controls. So you're kind of close to the other guy, but it's it's pretty cool. All right, so here's the cabinet we're getting. This is the one we're going to use for the quantum. So I have a new front piece of wood. This is a bit of a bummer, but I guess we can work through this. Yeah, I don't know what that is. What is this? Oh, this is just uh... Yeah, I'm replacing the whole front. Oh. Don't worry about that. So that's this is pretty good. It's actually got some good, good sharp corners. Yeah, this will be fine, Brian. It's just that, you know, this this kind of sucks, but... Yeah, I didn't remember it looking that. Yeah, I just sand that down. Pull, you're going to re-clean mold again anyway, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. You'll make that nice. Or clean. get a new piece of wood for this corner. Is this, is that what they did here? Don't know. I don't know either. This isn't my work. <laughs> it's been here for a long time. It's like that. I never, uh, I never did anything with this game. Been kind of sitting there for a very it was long originally time. maybe a Black Widow or Gravatar. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's got this front grill here, which leads me to believe that it was either Black, Black Widow, Widow or, Gravatar. or Gravatar. Yeah, it's yeah, the same cabinet. Said, yeah, because yeah, because Space Duel had two mon uh, two speakers there, and uh, Black Widow and Gravatar had one. Uh, let's see. Uh, can you see if there's a power supply in the back? I can't. Well, I think we need to screw down to get in there. Yeah, there's power supply. Sweet. Uh, I mean, no, there's a switching power supply. Oh, okay. there's no I don't know if the transformer's in there. Yeah, well, we yeah, well I could figure it out when I get home. Okay. I may have one at the house, too. Yeah. I can't really see in there. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can get the camera in there. Is there a transformer in here? Well, we can pull the back door off when we get it out. I don't have a screen back in uh, there is a transformer. I don't think it's an Atari one, though. Hey, what are these sticks? I saw that. <laughs> I don't think these will come with a bag. That's good. Are they a forage? I don't know. Those are Wiccos. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, let's load it up, man. Alright, let's grab the dolly. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Brian, so before I go back home. There's one game I wanted to see. Yeah, come on, show me this. I, I think I could see it. We didn't see this last time for some reason. No, she was buried back there. Uh, check this out, guys. This is a Moppet, and it's a Leprechaun. And Moppet games were like these teeny tiny arcade games that they had them at Chuck E. Cheese, right? Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese had them. <laughs> I think they're the only ones that had them that I know of, and uh, not a lot of them survived. Yeah, because Chuck E. Cheese would never sell the old games. Right. They would destroy them right. so they could write them off. Right off of, yeah. So it was impossible to get games out of Chuck E. Cheese. And I think Moppet, they sold all these little tiny kid-sized games to Chuck E. Cheese, and then Chuck E. Cheese would just destroy them. So there's really not a lot of these left. And dude, this is awesome. I actually like this game. It's a fun game. It's totally fun. Cause I played Leprechaun at Fun Spot. Mm -hmm. I, I freaking loved it. Yeah. And I, I always wanted to get one. And there was actually a tugboat a Moppet tugboat on Craigslist like two weeks it. ago. The guy wanted like six fifty for it or something. It was mint though. If it was a little closer, I may have bitten by that. You would have? Yeah, it was a little too far. It'd be that. pretty cool to have a row of Moppets yeah, though. Cool. <laughs> but I'm very happy with this one. It's in fantastic shape. Yeah, it is. And, and if you guys can see how small it is. So like here's the top of the control panel on Qbert, okay? And you can see the game is just that much taller than, than Qbert's control panel. And look at Brian next to it. Look at how small that thing is. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so cool, man. You guys should, should check it out, though. It's in MAME. And it's actually, it's, it's, it's a, not a bad game. But I would, like, I would like just to have it just because it's so weird. 
And and the the little kids on here creep me out They're though. Creepy, aren't they? Look at them. <laughs> I've made some comment before about them being undead Mormon children, <laughs> and people didn't like that. No, I didn't like that. I don't but I I got that from Sean from Fett on the uh, on our podcast. He always, he always says that. <laughs> So, they are creepy. Yeah, they are. You're totally creepy. I think that's what gives it the game some character, though. I know. <laughs> Boy, that thing is in nice shape, dude. All right, and also you got a you got a pretty rare pinball right here. I noticed this is a uh, the fire like the pub edition, right? Or what do they call it? Champagne edition. Champagne edition, and it's got like a wood oak veneer sides. Mm -hmm. And, and he's got it all folded up and like brass, uh, up, the you brass know. Brass on this is really weathered. Yeah. So, uh, the goal and is the one brass day bell. have all this brass refinished and uh, you know set her up. But there's only like a, a few hundred of these made, right? I believe there's only 300 made of this edition. Of this edition. And the back and the back glass has. Is it um, different? Yeah, it's different. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. It has a uh, rotating, uh, like on the play field of the regular fires, are these barrels that rotate. Yeah. This one has it in the back loss as well. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty neat. That's awesome, dude. Cool. And it's a fun game. It's a, it's a really fun game. Yeah, it's, it's got a unique play field layout. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a town. You shoot the left and right of it. But yeah, fire's pretty cool. You guys should check it out. So, all right, Brian, I think I'm going to head out, man. All thanks right, for go. spending some time with me, and thanks for the game. Sounds good. Yeah, all right, bro. Thanks for hanging out. See you, man. Take care. Later. Let's go back to the basement. Guys, we got the game in the garage here. And overall, I think it's okay. I have to say though, driving home had me a little bit worried about this game because I was smelling a very distinct kind of mildewy smell. And I really hope that this thing's not kind of waterlogged. In general, it, it seems to be like it's in okay shape. And this is gonna be a great candidate, I think, for my quantum restore. So at one time in this, in this game's life, it was either a Gravatar or a Black Widow. Um, and somebody at some point jamatized it, okay? And they, they installed this Romstar sidearms game. So whatever used to be in here, all the Atari stuff, the harness, the monitor, it's all gone. And it's been converted just like how the journey was when I got it, someone converted that into a golf game. And so what I wanna do now is I wanna just kinda open the cabinet and just see what's going on in here and just kinda take inventory. But in general, I think this cabinet is gonna be okay. We're gonna have to kind of paint the sides white. Uh, paint them white before we put the side art on. Now, now I have the full quantum side art and the front kick panel art. And I do have new wood here for the front of the cabinet. Now if you look over here, um, DPT Wiz on Clove, he, uh, he makes reproduction cabinets, okay? And I was gonna get a reproduction cabinet. And you know, it was like 600 bucks I think with shipping and, and I just, I didn't want to spend the money, quite frankly. I wanted to save money, and that's why we're, I think we're going to go this route here with this cabinet. So I talked to DPT Wiz, and he sold me the wood right there that we're going to use to convert this cabinet into a quantum. Now, the, the, the plywood piece on right here, that's the vertical monitor mount because this was a Gravatar and a Black Widow cabinet, so originally the monitor was horizontal. So we're going to use that new piece to mount the, ver the monitor vertically. And then that black piece back there is, is a new kick plate. Now the kick plate looks pretty much the same as the one that's on here now, but I heard the Atari films were not really 
they, the, the Atari film for Quantum, for the silk screening, didn't quite line up with Space Duel, I mean with Gravatar and Black Widow. So the kick plate on Quantum is just a little bit different and that's why we have a new kick plate. And I'm okay with that because I think the kick plate on this one's got some issues and it'll make the front of the cabinet that much nicer. So we're gonna basically knock this piece of wood off and then install that new kick plate. And the kick plate, of course, is this, this front piece of wood here. Now, the one thing that is troubling me though is this over here. I'm not happy about this. This, this is a real pisser right here. And I don't know, oh, see, look at that. So it's just like this whole corner's been bondoed and I don't even know what is left of the original wood. Oh, I see. So, okay, so we're gonna have to re, we're gonna have to fix this. I don't think it's gonna be as bad though. I'm not gonna fill this in with Bondo though. I'm gonna fill this in with wood and then we'll Bondo it and, and cause this is just, they just, they tried doing the entire corner with Bondo. I see what happened here. Yeah, that's not gonna be that bad. I'll get some wood here, we'll sand this down and I'll break all the Bondo off and we're gonna redo that corner. That looks like really the worst of this cabinet is this corner right here. Um, the rest of the corners, not too bad. So, all right, let's open the back of the game here. And I really want to see what's going on. I don't even know if there's a board in here. And, uh, you know, I didn't really care, to be honest. But it, whatever's in here is kind of bonus, including those joysticks on the front of the game, which do look like eight-way Wickos, which are what's in Robotron. So let's open up this game here, and let's see what's going on inside. And I, what I'm really hoping is the original Atari Transformer is in here because we're gonna need that. Okay, so we get a monitor, and we got a polo. Looks like a hand turret. Um, uh, not, not, not a polo, that is a hand turret. Boy, that, that's a sucky monitor that's in there. <laughs> so it's a hand turret 19 inch uh, monitor. Um, so let's take a look down here in the bottom. What is going on down here? What are those things? Fly catchers? What the fuck? All right, so, <laughs> so I don't know. This does not look like the original. Is this the original Atari Transformer? God, it looks really different than anything I know. I think it is. I'm not positive. I'm going to have to research that. Is that the original Atari Transformer? Boy, I don't really know. Um, I wonder what's going to happen if we plug this game in. I wonder if this thing even works. Uh, actually, the board's gone. Forget it. There's nothing to plug in. Uh, so the sidearms PCB is gone. So basically we got a monitor uh, and this cabin and that's it. Oh, that's a bummer. I was hoping to actually try that game, but uh, so what's on the bottom here? There's like uh, fly catchers. <laughs> what the heck? Ew, that's gross, man. This reminds me of like my grandpa when I was a kid. He would have these things hanging in his basement. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be throwing that out. So... Yeah, it looks like, I, I don't know if that's original. I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Looks like it's got three plugs coming off it. I'm gonna have to research to see if that's the original Transformer. And I don't know if, we, if there's any clues here about the artwork that's underneath because they, it looks like they just painted uh, over the original Black Widow or Gravatar artwork with this black paint. And I don't know if the original vinyl's underneath here. I think it is, so. But yeah, I mean, this is it, guys. I mean, this is kind of the begin of the quantum. I mean, we're not gonna really do anything in this video. Actually, we're gonna do one thing. We're gonna christen this game. <laughs> um, I have all the parts for this game. I have the, uh, the PCB and the side art and the harness and all the new metal parts. Um, and I also have the marquee and the control panel and the control panel overlay. But I think right now, why don't we throw the marquee on and it's gonna really feel like we're getting somewhere in this video. Um, it's got these little Allen uh, screws here, the little security screws. Um, there we go. So let's pull off this old marquee. Actually, I wanna look underneath the control panel too and just see what's going on underneath there. So let's see if we can drop the marquee off. And it's got the original tempered uh, tinted glass, which this piece of glass right here is worth 75 bucks to me and maybe even a hundred. I think this glass is not cheap and I needed that glass. So even if I don't use this cabinet, which I think I will, um, just getting the glass is worth what I paid. 
and also the coin door and that transformer if that's right it doesn't look right to me maybe it is I I'll have to take a look but uh, all right so let's pull the marquee off and so we've got the uh, the sidearms marquee off and this looks, looks like a silkscreen marquee so let's put the uh, let's put the quantum marquee on there and we'll really kind of feel the quantum so I picked up this quantum marquee from uh, Joe Majera in Chicago and he reproduced these a while ago and I think he sold out of them and I got one of his seconds and uh, it looks actually really good you can't really tell I don't know there might be some minor flex on the back or something but it's very trivial whatever's wrong with it so let's go ahead and just kind of bless the game with this I might have to loosen up the top ones yeah I do um, let me get up there and loosen up those top screws Okay, so I got the top screws loosened up there. So let's go ahead and get this marquee on. Um, and there's there's like two brackets here, and we just loosened up the top one. Let's kind of slide this guy underneath here. Get in there. Oh, pretty sexy. So this is kind of feeling like a real thing now. <laughs> it really is. Just seeing that quantum logo on there. This is a mega rare game, guys. I really should be working on the journey, right? <laughs> Why am I screwing around with the quantum? Come on, John, it's journey time. All right, well, hey, we got the quantum marquee on. <laughs> now we've truly made this part one of this restore, but you guys can see, this is what it's gonna look like. I mean, this when we get done with this, this thing is gonna be ridiculous. I mean, the side art, the artwork that goes on this game is freaking amazing. And uh, it, it's, it's just very colorful and white and everything. And so when we get done, this is gonna look pretty pretty badass. So, but yeah, this is it guys. This is the start of the quantum. Now, now there's gonna be a big delay between this part one of quantum and part number two because I need to finish the journey. This was just a little distraction today but I'm not gonna be too distracted because I need to get on that journey and we need to finish that journey. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of film the pickup of this game today because this really is the start of the Quantum Restore. And I, I obviously I have a long way to go here, but uh, not that far, you know, because I've got all the parts, I got a working PCB already. I need to get a power supply. That's really the only part I need right now. We've got the coin door on there. Um, I have a 6100 monitor that we're gonna use. This game originally came with an Amplifone, but you, it, it can also work with a 6100 monitor, which is a, a color vector monitor. And, and that's right, uh, Quantum is a color vector game, you know, like Star Wars and Tempest and all that. It's one of those types of games, so. Um, Anyway, so yeah, I got the 6100, I got the working board, I need to get a power, really the only part I need right now is a power supply. I do need to get a trackball. I've got the control panel and the, and the overlay, I just don't have a trackball. And we're also gonna need uh, the light up cone buttons that go on here. And then also, I wanna look at the, uh, let's take a peek uh, in here. Let's take a peek underneath this control panel and, and, and see what's going on. I, I'm actually really curious about these joysticks because those might be eight-way Wickos. Um, I'm not sure if those are three or four inch ones. Um, let's come in here. Where's the latches? I wonder if I need to unlatch it from behind. One sec. Okay, I unlatched the uh, the control panel from behind, and yeah, those are some uh, eight-way wickles. All right, I'm not sure how long those sticks are. And so this was the original Black Widow. I'm guessing control panel. Actually, you know what? Of course, 
Black Widow was a this this was a was it a Black Widow? Because Black Widow originally had two eight-way joysticks uh, because it was like a Robotron. It was a twin-stick shooter. I bet you any money these are the original uh, eight-way. Yeah, I'm trying to take a look here at this control panel. Was this a Gravatar or was this a Black Widow? It's hard to say. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I could see right here. One joystick went here, and one joystick went there. This used to be a Black Widow. Yep, here's the hole for one joystick. Yep, so they would have been up here, looks like. Yeah, that's absolutely what it is. Yep, this was definitely a Black Widow. So this used to be a Black Widow, and the joystick, the two, these two joysticks used to be up here, and then they moved them over here so you had two players, uh, two sets of controls for two players, I think simultaneously. I don't think I've ever played sidearms, but, uh, so yeah, this was definitely a Black Widow at some point, and those were the original eight-way uh, Wiccos from a Black Widow, which is choice. So yeah, we did okay, guys. You know, this cabinet, um, it's got some nice spare parts on it, and uh, so yeah, we got we just got to get working on this soon. We're gonna get back to the journey next, but uh, anyway, check out the journey over here, huh? What do you guys think? So it is working. I fixed the monitor. I don't know if I if I told you guys that. Um, so in the la at the end of the last video, the monitor died on it, and uh, it turned out it was just the flyback. And I basically got a bad flyback. And I, I could plug turn it on real quick. So you can see Journey is working again. And it, like I said, it turned out it was the flyback, which was really kind of funny because you know it was a brand new flyback that I put in there and the thing just died. It lasted like four, four or five weeks, and uh, I just had a hunch it was the flyback, and I swapped it out with a new one, and bam, the game fired right up. So the game's still working. Um, in the next video, we're gonna be doing Journey Restore part number 10, and we're gonna get to the tape player. We're gonna install the tape player, the cassette interface board. We're gonna get all of that working, I hope, in the next video. And then after that, we're gonna restore the cabinet, because I, I gotta get this done. I mean, enough's enough. We gotta get Journey freaking done, so. Anyway, yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, that's that's pretty much it for this little vid. I thought this was a little, I don't know, kind of a, a treat, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, I mean, since I was going to get that game today, I thought it'd be kind of fun to film it. And, Brian, thank you, bro. You're such a cool dude. I love you, man. And uh, thanks for hooking me up with this cabinet. It's going to definitely be put to good use. And uh, you, you got to admit, guys, come on, a freaking quantum. It's a quantum. <laughs> so anyway, all right, let's go back down to the basement. And by the way, this is actually sad over here. My Revenge from Mars died. See, I have, I have like a big summer party every year, and uh, I turned the games on last weekend, uh, and, and that's why I kind of was AWOL last week. I had I had a big party, and I just was not, a, I just was, it, I, I put so much energy into that party on Saturday, and then on Sunday, I just, I couldn't do a video. I was just exhausted. Uh, but anyway, Saturday, uh, during the party, actually at the start of the party, I turned my RFM, my Revenge from Mars on, and it was dead. And I'm like, what the heck? I mean, this game's been very reliable. And I pulled the computer out, and it turned out the power supply was bad. And this is an AT-style power supply, which is really old school. I mean, this is prior to ATX. Um, you know, all computers, like, from in the late 80s, the mid-90s, used this style power supply. So I went on eBay, and I got a new AT power supply. And this one fits in here good, but these the power plugs don't reach the motherboard. So I, I ordered another one. I, yeah, I know I could probably splice in some wires and extend this. I just, I wasn't in the mood. And these things are so cheap. I got one for 12 bucks on, on uh, eBay. So if I could save myself a half hour, I don't care. And then this will just be a spare power supply for the shelf. I could use it for something else. Um, but yeah, Revenge from Mars is down, which is a real pisser. But luckily it's only the power supply, I think. Um, but this thing's just totally dead. It's outputting no voltages and the fan's not running. So anyway, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, let's go back down to the basement. Look at Journey. We are close. We're very close. All right, guys, there you have it. That was part number one of the quantum build slash restore. Did you guys like that video? I mean, yeah, we didn't really do too much, did we? I mean, we, we went and picked up a game, but it was fun, wasn't it? I mean, I love Brian. He's fun to hang around with. We had a great time today. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
And you know what? Part number two now of this quantum restore is going to be a ways away. It's not going to happen like next week because I need to get back to the journey. Just understand that. I just wanted to film this today because this is essentially part number one of the quantum and I, I had to film it. So we got the cabinet. We're ready to rock. But you know what? We're going to get right back to the journey next week. And that's where we're going to believe me. No more videos until the journey is done. I mean, we're only going to be doing journey now the next few weeks because I got to finish that game and get it down here. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then, of course, you know, I have a podcast. Actually, I have two podcasts. One's called Arcade Outsiders at ArcadeOutsiders.com. And the other is called Video Game Outsiders at VideoGameOutsiders.com. I do both of those podcasts every Tuesday night starting at 9 p.m. Eastern on allgames.com. If you want to listen live, go to allgames.com, 9 p.m. Eastern, and press play, and you can listen live. And then also, if you can't listen live, don't worry. Go on iTunes or Stitcher and do a search for Video Game Outsiders and Arcade Outsiders. And of course, you know, I do these videos every Sunday and sometimes in between. So you guys have never subscribed to my little channel now is the time. Press subscribe. That way you can keep up with all my videos. So go ahead, press subscribe right now. All right, cool. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it later and goodbye. Time.